Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return with heaven. There are many people who have ideas on how to help someone, and they think that they know that person so well from some sort of past history with them, some sort of brief conversation with them, some sort of mental health assessment, which is really quite ridiculous. I had a woman do it for me and it took like five minutes. You really don't have the right to do that. You don't have the right to walk by someone and try to make an assessment. Now, it is true that when we meet people, when we go to a space for meeting people, when we go out networking and greet people, we do have impressions. And we immediately get a sense of who they are, what they're about, and what their really true qualities are. I have met plenty of men and plenty of women in those independent sessions that I realized were not a target market for my business. They're not a target market for my business for two reasons. That I really went there more to be social and to be supportive of my friends who run the thing. And two, that typically I've become aware over the course of a year and a half of going there that no one there is actually a target market for my business, but people there might know people who are a target market for my business. It's a tough call because everyone has to eat, everyone has to handle themselves, and everyone needs shelter most of all. But on a rainy day, I'm going to sit outside the rain like any adult human being would, and no little 20-something person who works in a box shop, works in a, in a staple shop, works in a, <coughs> sorry, a fa factory shop, works as a scientist, has a right to presume that they know what I need to eat or know what my priorities are today. 